Now, in today's video, guys, we're going to look at how do you level up the Lagur domain passives really, really easily, because this can be a bit tedious to do. Hey, it's Dan, and welcome back to Unified Gaming. If you're unaware, this skill line provides passives for sneak cost reduction, pickpocketing, and more and more and more, all aimed at really being like a thief. Most of this stuff actually isn't that useful. But this passive up here, Improved Hiding, is incredibly valuable on a Nightblade class, whether that's magical or stamina. And as I've kind of hinted at, the main ways usually are kind of pickpocketing and lockpicking to level this up, which takes a lot of time. But today, guys, I'm going to share with you a quick and easy way to level this up without any hassle whatsoever. I've been doing it for about three or four days now, and I'm already level nine. So it's really, really quick. In order to level this up, you need to come to this spot here. This region is called Daggerfall and it's in Galumba. So if you're unsure, it's in the top left of the map. You want to go into this city here. And what's special about this city is that we have this place here called the Daggerfall Outlaws Refuge, where you can basically sell stolen items. You can also launder them too, where you get to keep them. This is really nice because you can level up this skill line, this Lagur domain skill line, by going to this place here and selling stolen stuff. But you're probably going, where do we get the stolen, like the stolen stuff? And that's really simple. Down in the docks, there are two massive boats, left and right. But what's really special about these boats is that these are instanced. And that basically means that they are only loaded up for you when you're in there. So this guy is going ahead of me and he'll go into the boat. And yes, we might see him, but he can't take any of our items and I can't take any of his items. And as we move around, there's not a single enemy in here either. So it means we can steal freely without getting any bounties, without being caught, and we can go and sell the items. So I'm quickly going to just grab a few of these and then take them to the place. And what's really special about this is that not only is this kind of for yourself, but actually, there you see, not only is this for yourself, but you can actually do this infinitely because it resets really fast, like stupidly, stupidly quick. So if you don't quite fill up in the first run, you can go for the second run and repeat and repeat and repeat. Now I'm going to leave the rest of this run here, but you could go all over there, all through here. You can even then do in that room there. Once you have all of your goodies, you go, oh, I've got loads of stolen items to sell. And you still will say, oh no, my inventory is not quite full. I could go into this boat, so you can go around here. And when you get into this boat, it's exactly the same. There's no NPCs in there, there's no guards, so you can steal freely without getting any bounties. And that's what makes this place really special. And by the time I go into here, this loads up, the other boat's already reset. So you can just repeat this infinitely. So there's not a single guard or NPC in here whatsoever. So this is really, really useful. We're now gonna to go to the place where you sell the items and that's where you actually level up your skill line. And from doing this, say, three or four years now, playing the game, this is the quickest way to level up this skill line without any real hassle. It takes five, ten minutes per day. You do it for seven to ten days and your skill line is maxed. Which, in all honesty, this will save you like hours and hours and hours because normally you have to pickpocket and you get so little XP it's not worth the hassle. And what's really nice with this is that once you've got the passives, you sneak for cheaper, but you can also pickpocket much easier. So you could actually make money using sneaking and thieving, which is a really, really nice touch. When you get into this place, so the Dagfall Refuge, the entrance is there, but it teleports you under here. You go up this ramp, and then you will go round the little end bit. This is completely safe. You don't have to sneak. I just move quicker in stealth. And you look for this person here. This is called Defense. This person will allow you to sell any item that you stole. So you can sell these here and they'll give you gold for it. So you, again, you can make money and you can also launder and you can obviously basically pay for the item. So you say, I'm going to pay one gold and I get to keep the mint. So if a guard stops me now, that mint is always mine. It's been recognized as my item, so I won't get a bounty for it. So this is a really useful way. And as you can see, my item sold has a capacity of 110. I've used 11 of that. But my items laundered has a capacity of 110 as well, but I've only used two. So you can fill both sides up to get loads of items and loads of experience for the skill line. And you're probably going, mine's not 110, Dan. Why is it not 110? There is one passive that if you do this, you want to get, and it's called Trafficker. 
This basically increases the amount of things you can sell and launder by 120% for level one. So basically it over doubles it instantly. And then every rank adds 20% more. So you don't really need the ranks two, three or four, but the rank one is really, really important. And that's pretty much it guys. It's really, really simple. You repeat this and you get XP for the skill line. I'm gonna quickly sell my items just to show kind of how much we could get. You can just spam, sell them. My skill line will go up. And see, it went up a little bit on the bottom right. Now there's one thing that's really important to know about this method. Yes, it's really, really quick, but there is a cooldown on it. So you can only do this run once per day. So where my items sold are 22 currently, if I continue to fill them up, as soon as I hit 110, I'll then activate a timer and I won't be able to redo it until the next day and it's like in the next 24 hours. So it goes kind of from sort of Monday to Tuesday. So if you did it at Monday evening, for example, you could then do it Tuesday early morning, like say one o'clock if you're awake at that time and do both days at once. So that's just a little tip there if you want to do both at once. But as I said, I do this once a day for about a week, week and a bit, and I get to level, I think 16 is what we need, which is really easily to get the passives that we want. By doing it each day, you generally get about one level, maybe a level and a half, and then it goes down to about a level and then kind of just under a level. But because there's only 20 levels, it only takes, you know, 10 days roughly. So I'm going to quickly show you once more where those places are, and then we're going to wrap the video up. Okay, we're back on the top. So if you did miss it, it's this place here. This is where you sell. You go to sell here. And if you didn't quite fill up your slots like I haven't, you could go back to that boat or that boat and repeat. And it's really simple. So I'm going to show you that those items have reset now by the time I've done all that. So it, it's like I've got a really, really quick sort of respawn timer. And again, nobody can take your items, which is just absolutely awesome. That's why I really like this spot. So last time we looted that and it's now back. We looted that, it's back. We looted that, we looted all these. So you see we looted that, that's back. We looted the stuff over here, they're all back. So as you can see, this is the quickest way to level up the skill line. But I'm gonna call the video here because it's long enough as it is. And if you did enjoy this kind of video, then do leave a like, comment and share because it really helps out. And we also post regular ESO content, so consider subscribing. But before we kind of finish it, I want to say a massive thank you to all of our Patreons who are helping fund the website, making you guys, like YouTube a reality, so it's really, really appreciated. But with that said, guys, I will catch you in the next one. So thanks for watching, take care, and bye.